Six on the shot clock. Here's Diallo. That one drops for him. Chris, you and I love opening day. Which types of teams do you think tend to begin the season well? Great question, Kevin. I think it's teams that had chemistry the previous year, uh, teams that return a lot of Michael players Gordon. that means you have that familiarity, uh, teams that have health on that side, and, and more importantly, you know what? Sometimes teams that had the most heartbreak uh, because they're coming back uh, ready to go. Here's Joseph following the basket by Michael Jordan. Now Diallo and Detroit again with the bucket. Yeah, they to a nice flow this quarter. Here's Jordan, and the Bulls tack on Michael two more. Jordan. He's pulling out all the tricks this quarter. They can't figure out how to stop him. And it's Joseph with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Detroit Pistons. Pass to Grant. Back to Joseph. Grant finds Joseph. Now here's Diallo. He's covered by ball. For Chicago, they've gone a superb 7 of 7 from the field here in the second. And Kevin, I mean, you tend to forget oh. this about Levine. Lonzo. I mean, he's still oh. so young. You feel like he's been in the league forever. And on our sideline, our reporter, David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. Despite their record, there is optimism around the Detroit Pistons. Killian Hayes said, we have a fun team. We love seeing each other succeed. We've got a bright future. And coach Dwayne Casey says, if we bring the same type of intensity, toughness each and every night, then good things will happen. Kevin, back to you. Detroit tough. Good stuff, GA. Thanks. And stolen by Jordan. Two minutes. With the fadeaway. And it's Chicago scoring again. You know, Greg, I was just thinking about Zach Levine and his age. He's just now in his mid to late 20s. And he's grown so much since that rookie year. Excited to see what numbers he can put up as he gets ready to enter into his prime. Stewart checked in for Detroit. Cunningham comes in for Corey Joseph. That'll be a five-second call. In a moment here, let's check out the numbers for Jordan. Coming off a terrific season, 11th in assists, and he'd make you pay every time he went to the line. Top 20 in free throw percentage. And he was the consummate playmaker last season. Completely unselfish, always had his head up, looking for the open man. Olenek in the corner. Poke loose. Levine with it. Guarded now by Jackson. Pass to Levine. And he goes right over Josh Levine. Jackson and slams it down. Just goes to Nicole <laughs> Zach Levine. Bucci. He's already won multiple dunk contests. How about another? And on the AT&T 5G slam cam, you can see how impressive that move was. Cunningham kicks to Jackson. One oh two left in the first half. Short and good. He hits it again. Sixty points. This guy cannot be stopped. They've had no answer for him in this one. And at times, it just feels like the Rosen is still underappreciated. Receives a lot of criticism for what he doesn't do and hit not enough credit for what he does. Detroit making a switch here. Dave's checked in. Free throw good, Jordan. And the defining trait of the greatest of superstars, Jordan makes the players around him better. Mentally, in terms of effort, and in terms of their performance. Williams with the block. And it's out of bounds. And they say it was last touched by Vucevic. His shot was hindered by that momentous mobile one block. And big defensive plays like that will help them stay in control of this one. Oh, 
There's 49 seconds left here in the second. And here's the fast break. Jordan leading the way. Again, what an avalanche. And this game has his name written all over it. Greg, he's been phenomenal in offensive onslaught. Here's Diallo. They grab their own miss. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Diallo's got six here in this quarter. He's finally coming around, trying to make up for that goose egg he put up in the first quarter. The kick out to Ball. Here's Jordan. That falls. Nice feed that time from Ball. 65 Ball. points for Jordan. And there's a pattern Ball. starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Now, here's Cunningham, guarded closely. One second left, and so it's the Chicago Bulls holding an unbelievable lead as the quarter wraps up, and they're winning the turnover battle very easily in this one. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks very much. Joined by Dwayne Casey. Tough time protecting the paint so far. What has to change there? You got to get square. You got to get your body in front of the contain. You got to live with something, but most of all, you got to get your body in front of it and contain. You got to have a body in front of it. Thanks, Coach. Appreciate the time. Back to you guys. Thanks, David. And we'll be back shortly following halftime to get the third quarter underway. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Chicago holding the upper hand after the first two quarters. They are completely in control of the game, leading by a massive amount. Kenny, give us your two. And the game plan they went with was very clear. It was centered around scoring inside. Pound that ball inside, pound it in the paint, try to get the high percentage shot. And because of this assertive attitude, they've got the edge where it counts on the scoreboard. Check, what'd you think about the Pistons? I know it's not the case, but it seemed like they were lacking on the offensive game plan. Maybe some guys were improvising when they should have been making the next pass, but hey, not looking good out there. With a big gap on the scoreboard, the second half begins with very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback, one side trying to protect their lead. What a game we're seeing from Michael Jordan. Well, with a double-double in hand through two quarters, you can just imagine what his stat line will look like at the end of this one. Yeah, it could be one of those epic games, but we still have a long way to go. Well, we've got a second half of basketball for you. We think it's going to be pretty good. A big comeback, though, is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. And on the floor for Billy Donovan as we get into the second half. Williams is out there with Lonzo Ball. Then it's Michael Jordan. Then it's Zach Levine. And it's Vucevic in at the center position. Stolen by Levine. And here we go. Fast break. Levine's got it. Bucket is good. Levine's got his third bucket of the night. Another turnover there leading to a basket. Piston shooting 38% from the field. A pretty weak showing for them. Now here's Cunningham guarded by Jordan. Williams against Grant. Shot clock at six. Ball's knocked loose. And here we go. Levine heading to the hoop. The kick out to Ball. And the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. You guys, this is the NBA. You, you keep giving the ball away, you're going to get punished. And Levine improving as a playmaker, Chris. His assist totals continue to grow. Came into the league as a point guard. He's been a shooting guard for a long time now. He still has strong playmaking instincts. And the shot goes down. Oh, even from that range, the floater is one of the toughest shots in the game. And here's Jordan outside. And again, it's the Bulls from deep. Oh, a 
that's scary because he's just been a matchup nightmare in this game. He's eaten up anybody they've thrown at him. It's stolen by Vucevic. Goes up on the wing. Another one goes. Incredible. Assistant. And that's Nicola. 70. He's Ooh. unbelievable. Now a timeout time called out. by Detroit. There's an element to Nikola Vucevic's game that fits well with most of the league's modern offensive schemes. And with his inside-out game, right. he's a guy that can Go stretch on. the floor. And Kevin, when you look at today's yeah. NBA, nothing is more important finger. than spacing and passing. And when Vucevic is on the court, you can be sure the spacing will be excellent. Now, here's Cunningham. D right on him. And it's good for two. Here's Levine. He's got eight. Two minutes into the second half of play now. Michael Jordan on the wing. And, yep, another basket. What a game. That's 72 points. He's been simply, Greg, sensational throughout this one. McGruder passes to Cunningham. Kicks to Grant. It's tipped to the left wing. Here's McGruder. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Down to five on the shot clock. Over Levine. And he overshot that one, missing. Out of bounds. Detroit takes possession. An easy pass turns into a terrible turnover. And that's a possession. Detroit making a switch here. Joseph's checked in. The Pistons have gone two of three from the field to start the second half. McGruder kicks to Joseph. Tipped away. Here's Jordan. Another bucket. Wow. He's scoring at an insane level here, folks. The defense powerless to slow him down. Yeah, he's on a mission, closing in on third place all time in scoring. And his scoring tonight has dropped him into the conversation with some of the all time greats. So I'm talking about names like Wilt Chamberlain and, and Kobe Bryant. Simply amazing what we've seen here. And keeping us updated from the sideline, let's swing it over to David Aldrin. Thank you, Kevin. Well, Sadiq Bey was the 19th pick in 2020 out of Villanova, and he made an immediate impact for the Pistons. Dwayne Casey said he's a coach's dream, adding he's made himself into one of the top three-point shooters of his class, a defender, and he's just scratching the surface. Guys, not bad for a rebuilding team. You're right, they got a good one. Thanks. Olenek, he is checked in for Grant. And teams often try to slow down point guards with bigger defenders. But, Greg, you locked up without that edge. How'd you do it? A uh, little athleticism, Kevin, and a lot of desire. The pass to Jackson. Six to shoot. Joseph against Jordan. There's the drive. Williams with the block. Stewart against Vucevic. From deep three-point range, Joseph with the rebound. And so it's Joseph with it. He'll bring it up for the Detroit Pistons. Two he minutes kicks to Olenek. In the third. Two minutes. They need this one. And it's good on the way up. Uh, and if you see the mobility of Olenek, I mean, just, just taking the strong side. Passes it to Jordan. There's 138 left to play in the third. Good work there as it goes. His individual effort has been outstanding tonight, and it's helped him grab the lead. And here is Joseph. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Now, here's Olenek. Ball with it. And here's the fast break. Ball leading the way. Thien passes the ball. And some nice ball movement here by Chicago. And another one falls. Amazing. 
And that puts him even for third on the single game scoring list. Simply amazing. I I'm at a loss for words. Greg, his has been one of the greatest offensive games we'll ever see. And to equal a mark set way back in 1961 by Will Chang. Good, that's another bucket. And that score moving him clear into third all time for scoring in a game. Well, G.A., you just knew it was a matter of time the way he's been playing. I'm sure he's not finished either. Well, he has already cleared Wilt Chamberlain's 78 points. Next up is Kobe's 81. And if he passes that mark, the basketball world is going to be talking about this guy for years. Hands with the ball out of bounds. Jordan touched it last. A uh, different look here for Detroit. Diallo comes in for Jackson. And it's Cunningham in for Corey Joseph. Knocks it loose. Olenek dishes to Cunningham. Williams inside, pass to Jordan. And again! And that score moves him up in the record books yet again. He now stands, Greg, alone for second place for points. What an unbelievable night. To think that he has eclipsed Kobe's mark of 81 and now has his sights set on 100, this is a game you'll be talking about for decades. And so it's the Chicago Bulls with a huge lead at the break. Safe to say there's no catching him today. From the field, they have been outstanding, amazing shooting. That's what has them headed to a blowout. Back to the action after this word. How about a look at today's State Farm assist of the game? And I'm glad this was the pick because I love this pass. Such a great dish. That's what I call court vision. Well, it's also called making a good read, understanding where everyone is and taking full advantage. Fantastic. And as we head into the fourth, we'll see if there's a comeback in the works or if it's more of the same from the first three quarters. We've got Cunningham. Hamadou Diallo is out there with Lyles. Then it's Olenek, and it's Jackson in at the two spot. That's the group for Detroit right now. Pass to Lyles. You sometimes hear people say games are called too close. Are you of the mind that the refs need to let them play? I'm understanding the mindset that the refs uh, need to understand when they come to watch them. They need to be consistent on both ends of the floor. That's all guys ever complain about. When you see a guy going up to the ref, he's usually saying, hey, you didn't call that on the other end, or you called that on the other end. So consistency, I mean, these guys are trying to do their job to the best of their ability, but you need to be more consistent. Down low. Here's Jordan, and it's Jordan with the jam. Oh, man, showing off the playmaking skills. Levine keeps his head up and makes the unselfish play. Now Jackson. The pass to Cunningham. Williams with the block. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Pistons will retain possession. And now let's revisit that exceptional mobile one block. And boy, did he get up quick to reject that shot. That's as fundamental as defense gets. Please check in for the Pistons. For your Pistons, Saban, please. We've gone about a minute and a half into the fourth quarter. Count it. Saban. I like that pick play. I mean, you can see how easily it makes it for him to get to the cup. For Chicago, they've gotten all three of their shots to drop here in the fourth quarter. They came out of the break on a roll. Passes it to Jordan. Second chance shot. He lays it in. Michael Jordan. Again and again, they're dissecting the defense and creating those high percentage looks from inside. Here's Lee. Poked away. Jordan inside. He's against Olenek. It's just one of those nights where Jordan can do no wrong offensively. And let's talk about the endurance to go along with it. Wow. 
Olenek the pass to Jackson. Fourth quarter of play, and we're about two and a half minutes through it right now. Williams with the block. Tries again. Just four to shoot. Puts it up. And they hit it back. And the basket by Olenek. Oh, I love that aggressiveness from Olenek. I mean, he can create his own offense. I mean, we all know that. But that time, with a little cleanup work. Whoa, what a finish! Run that back. I, I want to see the replay now. <laughs> you won't find a much more entertaining sight. Uh, I'd call that slam dunk contest level. A fantastic mobile one block. This one deserves another look. And, and this is how you protect and grow a lead by making a huge effort on that end of the floor. To the inside, and Detroit with another turnover here. A uh, different look here for Detroit. Jackson, he's checked in for Diallo. And Hayes subbed in for Frank Jackson. Jackson! Here's Chicago. They're on a 12 to 4 run. Here's Jordan and the dunk by Jordan. Yeah, it's like he just keeps going up and up. Limitless vertical for MJ. They get a hand on it. Vucevic against Olenek. Lee outside. Driving inside. Plays it up and banks it in. And here are the Bulls now. They're on a 14-6 run. Here's Jordan. Another one falls for Chicago. And that's just cold-blooded right there. He's taking no prisoners. Oh, that's just the mentality you have to have. Not wanting to give the opposition any hope of going back into this. And stolen by Jordan. Out of bounds, Detroit takes possession. And the Pistons making a change here. Stewart's checked in. Your Pistons, Isaiah Stewart. The Pistons have gone three of six from the field so far in the fourth quarter. That's tipped and stolen by Jordan. Absolutely ridiculous in this game. You get the sense he just can't miss. It's stolen by Vucevic. Jordan inside. And good! But there's another. And that score puts him even. A night I never thought we'd see. He's now tied point for point with the record. One more score. He'll be all alone at the top of the record books. GA, a moment nobody thought they'd ever see. 100 points for him. Still sends shivers down my spine to say it. And this is a game that nobody thought could be matched. Will Chamberlain's half-century record has been matched here tonight. And again, it's the Pistons missing. Very dangerous to leave a guy like that open. Lucky break there for the D. And one team is just completely outclassing the other tonight. Spirited performance, and it really ignited what is turning out to be a monster win here for the Bulls. As one-sided as it gets today, you know, there were some dominant moments in about every facet of this game for that team. Yeah, I mean, Kevin, it's hard to think of what didn't go right for them. Uh, game planning by the coaches, execution by the players, everything was just on target. And it will go down as their first official win of the new year. They can chalk this one up, but these two teams will see plenty more of one another before the season's over. And one of the key components. Good, he hits again. I wouldn't believe it if I hadn't seen it in my own eyes. A new single-game scoring record. Oh, history being made as we speak. Unbelievable. And he has now passed Wilt Chamberlain's legendary mark of 100 points, one that stood for over a half a century. Unimaginable. And now a moment to present the New Balance player of the game, Michael Jordan. And Kevin, it's a no-brainer. He's controlled every aspect of this game, and it's just so fun to see a player perform at a level that's just higher than anyone else out on the floor. He silenced this crowd with an unreal display. 
His ability to drown out the noise and the hostility of an opposing crowd is pretty special. And credit the whole team. It was a focused, concerted effort to put this one away. Yeah, I love how they play for one another out there. No signs of selfishness. They're just a total team effort. And he's here to catch his breath from this scoring rampage. Yeah, giving his team life and these fans enjoying the show despite themselves. I'm trying to comprehend what he's doing here this evening. I mean, his ability to read this defense and... Oh! Jordan. They just blocked out the noise, kept on grinding, and this is their reward. Showing remarkable poise and focus uh, throughout the game. A sustained effort across the board. And so Chicago takes this one and by a big... All right, David, great job. Thanks so much. And that about does it for the first... Hello and welcome to NBA 2K. We're here to get a peek at a My Player build, so let's get into it and have some fun. And on tap tonight, it's the Houston Rockets going up against the Los Angeles Lakers. Hello, everyone. I'm Blake Suga. Excited to be courtside with my broadcast partners, Tim Swartz and Ryan Banifatemi. What a game we have tonight. My player is in the house, and he's who I will be tracking tonight. I'm really curious, really, with his fit on this team. Can he mesh with his uh, teammates? Uh, let's see how the individual skills work in a team environment. Yeah, Tim, I want to see that, too, because coaches and front office personnel, they want winning players. And to have a long, successful career, operating within a system is critical. You're going to probably play for multiple coaches who play different ways. So the question is, can you adjust your game? Can you make an impact on any team? Setting up as the point guard on the Lakers, lots of talent around you, including in the post. 
It's absolutely a great spot to land. You better enjoy the pick and roll game, though, because AD is fantastic in those sets. And I think the ability to shoot would be huge because between oh Anthony Davis and LeBron James, there's going to be a ton of spacing out there. Plus, remember, the Lakers don't have a point of the future. They went with vets last year who aren't long-term solutions. So if you perform at a high level, you could be this solution in Los Angeles and play for the Lakers a long time. The D was ready for him that time, and they had to be. He is so strong in the paint. To the middle, Westbrook. And he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws for him. Love the intensity that Westbrook plays with. Forces the defense to act and whack him on these shot attempts. Russell Westbrook taking two shots. And good on the second, so he makes both. Love the fire that Westbrook plays with, the energy. Not a guy to ever take one possession off. Now here's Porter. Green inside, working on Howard. Wood can't get it to go. Offensively, just one of four to start. They're still warming up. Pass to Howard. To the inside. Westbrook with the bucket. Talk about a great start. Three of three from the field to get the game going. The Rockets on offense. They trail by six. Oh, guys, we are in the era of player empowerment. And how do you think that has affected the league? Well, Blake, I think the most important part of player empowerment is player movement. Stars having the ability to not only leave a team if they're unhappy, but also choosing where they want to go. We've seen elite NBA players traded, signed with new teams all the time. I think it's a great thing. And honestly, guys, I don't think we'll see a dominant run like the, the Warriors just went on for a while. Players want to play in new markets with different stars, different friends, and that makes it very difficult to keep a roster and stay on top. Here's Tice. Outside for Green. For a three. A rebound by LeBron. To the paint. Here's Young. That's good. And it's LeBron with the assist. Every time they get scored on during this run, it seems like it's come from inside the paint. Buckle up on defense. Yeah, it's time to collapse down and make them shoot jumpers. First team ball. And we're approaching about three and a half minutes played in this first quarter. Quarter outside. Pass to Tice. And it's out of bounds. The Rockets able to retain possession. Six on the shot clock. Back to Green. I like their defensive focus and intensity to start this game. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? It's so fun to watch right now. Nothing easy. They're making them work just to get into their offense. I mean, how often do you see this kind of defensive intensity? Imagine this dream scenario. You build your mind player, you go to the point guard position, how do you execute with the offense to best complement LeBron James? Two keys for me, off-ball movement, shooting the rock. LeBron works very well, uh, as we've seen with, with various teams, handling the ball. And he also works well when he's paired with great shooters. Points who can rip it without the ball help LeBron because Obviously, the King's going to run the offense at times. And you touched on the movement aspect, Tim. You need to be very active. But generating your own shots works, too. We saw how effective Kyrie Irving was in that role, playing next to the King. Pass to Howard. And that's out of bounds. The Lakers will retain possession. So close to picking that pass off. Still a nice play, though, to make sure the pass didn't reach the target. Now 
here's James. Defense right on him. He doesn't miss many of those, especially with the defender not in the best of positions. Right on it's good three. on the putback. They're beginning to just fall apart defensively, especially on the interior. Yeah, they're crumbling like a cookie right now, and that's four straight field goals they've allowed from within touching distance of the rim. Now here's Porter. Four on the clock. And there's the call on Young. That will be his second foul of the game. That's and that's two fouls foul. for him very early second in this ball foul. game. He'll probably have to spend some time on the bench before halftime. Here's Porter. Inside. Lays it up and makes it in. Give an assist there, not for a pass, but for a solid screen set on the inside that freed him up and made the layup possible. Davis left side. Here's my player. Rebounded by the Rockets. Green outside. And Howard with the block. And so the first quarter in the books. The Lakers out in front, up by seven. And back in a moment as we'll get underway with quarter two. And kind of digesting what we saw in the first quarter, let's talk about my player's performance up to this point. Well, you might want to come out aggressive, but uh, he and me being a little too aggressive. Two fouls already. You're not helping yourself, and you're not helping your team. Yeah, we're always encouraged when these guys say they're in attack mode, but you have to do it under control. You don't want to be sitting for long stretches of the game. That's just not good. Nothing like a good old-fashioned throwdown to get a team going. And they definitely need to get going. They wouldn't mind shaving a few more points off the lead right away. Yeah, it starts with defense here. Uh, yeah, if the defense keeps giving up soft buckets like that, it won't be a lead for long. Trust me, guys. He shot the ball exceptionally well as they built this lead for themselves. Might be a hard fit, but you're going to try anyways. So how does an MP point work with one of the best points in the game? Former MVP, Russell Westbrook. The first thing you do, you go to the gym, you take 10,000 shots a day. Because Russ is a guy who draws attention with the ball. He attacks the rim at will. So you learn to play some off guard if you want to be on the court at the same time. Gets loads of free spot ups. Learn to move. Learn to cut without the ball. And remember, Westbrook plays with a lot of energy. So you're going to have to at least try and match that. You got to learn how to play at a frantic pace. Because the quicker Westbrook plays, the better he is. Usman Garuba. That's his first personal foul. First team. This is his second trip to the free throw line at in this the line one. For the Lakers, Russell Westbrook. At the line for two. The first free throw is good. Both good at the line. So it's the Rockets now. 11 point game. We're now around a minute and a half into the second quarter. Martin, good. Nice pass, he got that ball right into his teammate's shooting pocket. All right, let's take a look at the prospect of a point guard build paired up with the wide skill set of Anthony Davis. It's just got to be a joy to be a one with AD Roman. Get ready to toss up some alley-oops. AD feasts on those. I'd also work on your handles and court awareness, though. But when you've got a big target like AD down low, who can also shoot so well, you need to be a point guard with an excellent pick and roll game. Totally agree. I mean, AD is so versatile himself. But really, 
ability to excel in a tandem, communication is key. Keeping that ball hopping around the perimeter and finding mismatches, but also being physical, setting screens. And it's blocked. And we're just over two and a half minutes into the second period. Martin, good. You can always depend on him to put that lead pass right on the money. The Lakers with the lead. Outside Young. Off target at the rim. Gordon outside. Tipped. And that'll be Houston's ball as it goes out of bounds. The Rockets making a switch here. Rockets substitution, David Nawaba. And about three minutes played now in this second quarter. Pass to Martin. Down low. Come on, you can't take that shot in front of Davis. His reach, his height, his attitude. It was never going to happen. And that Not one drops for him. That's just run of the mill Davis for him. He's one of the more skilled offensive players out there. And thinking about the Lakers, always a lot of storylines around them. But what style of play best fits this team? Well, anytime you're playing alongside the king, LeBron James, you want to have a roster right. full of shooters with all the space he Good creates line. offensively and his passing abilities. Make sure your guys can hit open Let's shots. Absolutely. And you also want to be able to dominate in the open court. The Lakers have been one of the league's best fast break teams in recent years. And they want to keep that up. And Howard with the block. to Westbrook, to the middle. Now here's Howard, outside James, to the inside, Young. Gordon grabs the board. The Rockets trailing. Here's Nwaba, he's covered by James. Inside. Second chance shot, and Howard with the block. Let's not sugarcoat it, guys. This is a day that he'd like to forget. Just hasn't had the energy to get it done out there. Still without a single point. Tried to step in, cut him off, but not quick enough. Yeah, just one step late to get there and didn't establish position. It's a tough, tough play for that defender. And the basket by Young. He placed the, the pass right in front of him and let him just run right into it. And they're looking for some kind of spark here. Yeah, cold stretch offensively. They need a bucket. And there's the call on Young. That's his third That's foul his so far. Already, he's looking First at his third foul. foul. Coach will probably look to sit him down until the third quarter. Here's Porter. Clock at six. To the paint. Martin. That's good, and so Porter with the assist. He's coming to life after a slow start in the first quarter. My player, right side. Puts it up from 12. No luck on that one. So it's the Rockets now. They trail by nine points. To the inside. And he converts Christian the layup. Miller. Not much resistance on the inside. David That's Nwaba. their fifth consecutive mate in the paint. Those looks they're allowing are almost Not automatic. In team. fact, I'll just say it, they are automatic. Russell they're in the position the they're in right now, thanks in no small part to the show he's putting on this quarter. And I'm just thankful to be a part of it. Now here's Porter. And in off to an efficient start. Two for three from the field. Still trailing, yes, but their offense is no longer on life support here in the second quarter. Yeah, they're making some shots now, looking to make up some ground. Young shots good. He's just tearing it up this quarter. That lead's not going anywhere while he's this high. Knock loose, and it's out of bounds. The Rockets able to retain the ball. And the Rockets making a change here. Substitution. Jayshon Tate, Jalen Green. So it's the Rockets now. Nine point game. Eight second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Pass to Martin. Knocks it loose. 
Shot clock at five. Here's Green, plenty of space. And it's good, off the back rim and in. And here's Westbrook. He has six. I love watching Russell Westbrook Russell play Westbrook. unselfish basketball. He certainly did in college and in the pros. It's been a little back and forth. Jalen Green. And we've reached halftime in this one. Lakers out in front. They lead by seven. And don't go away after the break. We'll see you right back here for the start of court. With two quarters behind us and two left to go, what are your thoughts on my players? He's been unstoppable scoring the ball, making great decisions, and executing at a high level. And no reason to go away from him until something changes. I like what coaches do it. Just continue to feed the beast. They get it again. And count it. The shot is good, and he'll go to the line. Hard work on the glass once again, guys. They put a lot of effort into their rebounding. And that interior play, it's made a big difference in this game. And he's got his first opportunity at the line here tonight. At the line for the Lakers, Anthony Davis. Shooting one. And that one misses. No biases here, but one of my favorite bigs to watch in the entire NBA. When Anthony Davis is on the floor, you stop everything. It's appointment viewing. Pass to Wood. Inside. Porter. Nice D from James. Outside Young. Down low. And here's Wood. Green outside. And here's Tice. He's covered by James. On the wing, Porter. Off target from outside. The Lakers with the lead. Outside, Young. No good with the layup. Howard covering. And he drops in the layup off glass. Major height disadvantage there, but he's still got it up and over his man. Don't worry about that fella, no matter what the matchup is. He's not easy to intimidate. Boy, he's a bulldog. Well, the defense looking to protect the rim at all costs there. Yeah, definitely saved the layup with that foul. He's going to have to earn him at the line. He's off on the second. Over a minute and a half into this third quarter action. Here's Green. Westbrook with the rebound. They start the second half one for four. Young shot's good. On offense, uh, Davis keeps his head up and maintains awareness. That's how he spots a wide open man. Green right side. And the foul call on my player. That's his fourth foul of the contest. That foul gives him four, so he's just got two to spare the rest of the way. He's got to be careful. Tice with it, working on Davis. Porter, he's guarded by Westbrook. Just five to shoot. A slow start to the second half. Seems like they left their offense in the locker room. Here's Young. And he lays it straight in. Boy, not a lot of resistance inside, and they're taking advantage. That aspect of this game, uh, the, you know, the play in the paint, has gone almost entirely their way. Absolutely. Pass to Green. Here's Tice. Shoots over Young. And it's wide right, hits off the rim. Blocked by Wood, but they recover it. Second shot opportunity, and it's my player missing. It hasn't been an easy quarter for him, offensively speaking. And it's Green missing. On the wing, my player. No good that time. Porter with some nice defense. And they've been struggling here offensively. Bit of a dry spell for sure. Out and out of bounds. Substitution for the Rockets. 
Usman Garuba. Now here's Westbrook. Now he's guarded by Porter. That one Hard drops for him. Two. That's his M.O. Russell Sometimes Westbrook. he can score more yes, points sir. by himself than the rest of the team combined. Pass to Green. Lakers with the rebound. They've got a big lead, not just on the scoreboard, but in the rebounding numbers, too. Yeah, it's been a gritty performance and a physical brand of basketball, but, hey, that's how you win. Bring your lunch pail. Here's my player. Throws it down as the official calls the foul. It may be a three-point play. It's on quarter. Put in work on the boards, it'll pay off with chances like that. That's and he does put in the work. Foul. It's why he's on the finishing end foul. of one putback slam after another. You gotta That's watch him if you're on defense. Players. Yeah, he's just Wyatt an Howard. incredibly motivated That's player. That's something that's never been in question. Houston calls timeout. He's seen enough Houston. scoring in the paint and wanted to send a clear message to his team. Lock things up inside. Yeah, you're right, Tim. I guarantee uh, you this talk centers around goal. cutting down on all those points coming yeah. against them in the paint. Maybe it's more help. It's the front of player. They've got to try something. 